G'day, I'm Alistair Christie uh, from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we're going to have a little bit of a look at doing dialogues. Um, and so what I might first do, this is a, something you might find interesting, I'll just put that in the centre and turn off the anchors. Um, so when we run our application and now when I resize it the button stays in the middle, slight digression. But So this application asks for a magic incantation, for instance, and then just shows it. So the code looks like so. We have a class method on our form2, uh, very creatively named, um, and it creates an instance of form2, uh, shows it if the modal result is MRK, that is to say we click on OK, uh, we return the text in the edit box. Uh, and we probably don't need our form variable at all. Uh, let's recompile that and remove that from there as well. So if you're not using form variables, it's, it's good to, to get rid of them. It avoids uh, confusion. So if we now run this application, um, and if I just show it and press cancel, we'll see that the dialogue is slowly marching down the screen every time we show it. Uh, not necessarily desirable. So the first thing we're going to change is we're going to come down to um, position and change that instead default pause, uh, make it screen centre. So then the dialogue always appears in the centre of the screen. And so if I did that multiple times it'll always appear in the same place. Um, the next issue might be that we've got a maximise button and potentially a minimise. That depends on what division of Delphi uh, you're running as to how much of a problem that is. Um, sometimes minimising that will just throw it in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and you then wonder why you can't click on the form uh, and it's all very annoying and you tend not to notice the little um, minimized uh, dialog down there. So we want to get rid of the uh, maximize and minimize and there's a couple of ways of doing that. Um, the first, if we only wanted to get rid of the maximize we could uh, take it off, off there and now it's disabled. And if we get rid of the minimize as well, they both go. Um, oops. The other option is changing the border style. Now currently it's sizable, so that's another, another problem. Uh, if we run the application yet again, I can resize the dialog. Um, into a shape which is not necessarily particularly uh, desirable. So we can change that to a dialogue style or a, a, a tool window and that's going to change the um, the sort of the, the title bar style and what have you. And so when we run that now it's not actually not even get the option to resize it. So we're kind of eliminating areas where uh, your users can get confused. Another thing you can do um, is if for some reason you didn't want the, the, the border style dialogue, um, we'll set it back to sizable. And I'm just going to turn auto size on. Um, and we see that, okay, our, our shape is not we've lost our, our margins, so to speak, or well, technically speaking we've lost our padding. So if we come down to padding, we can add some padding in. And if I shift things around it automatically adjusts the size of the form. Um, this is excellent if you've got some sort of element on your form um, that resizes and you might need to resize your uh, dialogue to suit. Um, that's the easiest way of doing it. 
and there are other, other controls with the auto size property as well so you, you might find that useful um, so let's run that and except the downside is we've, we've got the sizable and we can do things like that which is not desirable so we probably want to go back to our uh, border style of dialog so that's the kind of things that uh, people typically do wrong with dialogues is having maximize and minimize and them being resizable um, uh, the other thing that occasionally is having the OK and cancel buttons around the wrong way um, while this is suitable for a Mac it's not suitable for Windows and people will uh, quite likely click on the wrong things from time to time um, the other thing that might be desirable is the dialogue is pretty small on a, on a really large monitor that might be kind of lost um, so sometimes it's, it's worthwhile uh, upping the font size so through that to 12 for instance and that makes it quite large and we'd need to adjust our the sizes of our things um, it's just going to shift right arrow there and shift down Okay, and oh, it's looking a bit cramped. So something along those lines, um, the dialogue becomes uh, a lot more obvious. Um, no maximize, no minimize, no resize. Uh, okay, and cancel in the right, right order. Um, I've spelled that correctly, abracadabra. Um, and there's our, our our magic dialogue. Pretty much pretty much finished. Um, there's probably some other stuff you could do to tidy it up, but um, I'd be pretty, pretty happy with that. Um, except I've I've come to not like um, modal forms at all. I, I tend to try and make them pop up within the main main form, but doing sort of modalist dialogues. Um, and it makes much more sense we're doing minimize and maximize and things like that um, and it's all all within the one window so it's like an uh, MDI application um, but I might save that for a, another video so that's pretty much all I wanted to cover I hope uh, you've got something useful out of that I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv